In this video, I'll be showing you how to make the butterfly reflect across the x-axis by using the change costume block. You can see that I've already made a block called reflection, and I've also added a text-to-speech block that says this is a reflection. We're going to click on costumes, so the costumes tab on the top left. Now right now, although the butterfly is at zero, zero, you can see it x is zero and y is zero, it's the center of the butterfly that is there. So what we're going to do is we're going to move the butterfly up so that the point of rotation is on the tip um, of the butterfly. So let's do that now. I'm going to select the whole butterfly. So we're in vector mode right now. We're going to move this up and see how this little mark here appears, this little circle, that is a center of rotation. We've now moved our butterfly up and you can see on the coordinate grid over here that the tip of the tail or the bottom part of the butterfly is on the zero, zero. So you can move this up and down right here. Okay, so I'd like to rename it now. So let's call this one Butterfly Upright. We are going to duplicate this now and make a new one that's upside down. So we're going to right click, select duplicate. Now we're going to select the whole butterfly again. Actually, we don't need to do that. We're just going to flip it vertically. So you can see flip vertically here. Okay, now we're going to select the whole butterfly and you can see the point of rotation down here. We're going to move it down so that the tip once again is on that point of rotation. So it'll look like a reflection. Let's call that butterfly reflected. When you're ready, you can click on code, the code tab at the top left hand side. Now we're going to use the switch costume blocks. So under looks, select switch costume to, we're going to switch it to reflected. And then we're going to go to control and wait. So we'll change it to 0.5 seconds once again. And then we'll go back to looks and we'll get a second switch costume block and we'll switch it back to upright. So let's just run that. Actually, I'm going to move all these blocks around so we can just focus on the reflection block. And that's what's great about sub programs or making our own blocks. We can troubleshoot and, and focus on one part of the program at once. So right now it's only going to do the reflection because that's the only block I have in. So we'll run that. This is a reflection. So we'll run it again because now we have it so that it's starting out upright. And you could add a line of code at the top where the green flag is so that it starts upright. So we'll click the green flag. There we go. So when you run it, it looks like it is reflecting across the x-axis.